Exercise 8, the hover. And the first control we're going to have a look at is the cyclic. The cyclic stick controls the aircraft's position over the ground. But to know where the aircraft is over the ground, we must have some external reference point. And in this instance, we're going to use the windsock. If I allowed the cyclic to move to the right, you'll note the windsock is moving gently across the windscreen to the left. Conversely, if I allowed the cyclic to move to the left, you'll notice that the windsock is now moving across the windscreen to the right. This is known as drift. Let's now have a look at what happens if I move the cyclic to the rear. Cyclic coming to the rear, note the windsock moving down the windscreen fairly rapidly. Conversely, if I allowed the cyclic to move forwards, you'll note the windsock moving up the windscreen fairly rapidly. So those are changes in cyclic pitch. Therefore, all movements on the cyclic have to be very, very small and gentle. At all times, I can stress, but in the hover, even more so. What controls our height? Well, as in the other exercises, the lever controls our height in the hover. If we raise the lever, you can see the windsock going down the bubble. In other words, we're getting too high. So we lower the lever once again to return and allow the reference point, in other words, the windsock, to move up the bubble until we get to a five-foot skid height, which is the ideal hover height. Smaller the movements are made on the lever, the less pedal requirement or anti-torque requirement is going to be. The yaw pedals control the aircraft's heading. If you look at the windsock now, I'm going to yaw the nose of the aircraft to the left. There we go. Left pedal going in, aircraft yaws left, and the windsock moves out to the right fairly rapidly. Likewise, if I put in right pedal, there we go, right pedal going in, the aircraft yaws right and the windsock moves out to the left rapidly. A point to note is that in the early stages of your hovering exercise, it is very easy to get yaw confused with drift. Just remember, yaw is a rapid movement and drift is a slow movement.